Hi, my name is Philip Lemmel. I'm showing you the heading styler today. Uh, what I'm going to do is change the view a little bit so we can get a better look at that. Um, the picture here. The heading styler is the third process used in the uh, conversion. Uh, the first was the uh, the converter itself, it was the rich text converter, and then we used the Heading Finder Pro to find the headings. And when we found the headings, I was showing you that in many documents when you apply a format, for instance, I go to body text, uh, what I'll do is I'll apply the heading again and then I'll drop the formatting and that happens with a lot that don't have a uh, say a bunch of text behind it so what the heading styler does is it makes all of those uh, headings consistent um, it actually applies direct formatting so if I was to do this again manually just to say for instance this one paragraph I would um, highlight the whole thing and then I would bold it okay and then I would just back it up a little bit and then underline it okay and that would be the keystrokes required to format that paragraph but see you can have a ton of those paragraphs within a document so after conversion that would really cost you a lot of time if you can't make all of your headings consistent so I'm gonna go ahead and run the uh, heading styler what I, I did pre-program this a little bit um, I'm not gonna style heading one because it's a heading by itself and it's a style by itself it doesn't need to be broken up into two two areas where it's title text and your regular text and then I went ahead and I made this regular text and just underline text so even if you combine documents on a regular basis or not even on a regular basis but you just can take a whole document and just make it consistent so here we go and as it's running um, it only takes a couple seconds um, we'll go ahead and scroll down and see we set, left that alone uh, the headings the heading one and so it stayed with the way it was but what we did was we took all our heading two which is section 2.2 and we did all those keystrokes manually for each heading okay now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change it again and we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, what I'll do is I'll this is the default setting um, I'll do headings two and three in bolded and underline. Okay, I'll go ahead and click OK. And that's pretty much the end of the demonstration. It seems like it's a simple macro, um, but it does do a good job. As you can see there, we have all the headings and we have all the title text changed. I'll go ahead and give us that view back um, where we go to uh, paragraph or article five. And you can see the ones I was talking about, 5.1 and 5.2. They're pretty much all consistent. And as you can see on the left, they're all headings. Um, have a nice day. Thank you.